Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to quickly go over how we can make a split screen layout for a web page. So I've got a blank page set up. There is nothing of note on it at the moment. So let's go ahead and create something. And I will use some internal styles here. The body of my page, even though this part is not completely necessary, I'm going to go ahead and do a div id equals container. And let me go ahead and do the closing div for that. And within this div, I'm going to do my two main portions. And this first split that I'm going to do will be a left-right split. So I'll go ahead and do id equals left. In fact, I'll do a class equals left just to mix it up. And a class equals right. There we go. And let's go ahead and get into the styling of this. Now for my container, couple things here. I do want to be able to establish this container as filling up the page. So I'm going to go ahead and set a min height for my container of 100 VWs or 100 viewport widths. That's a mistake. 100 VHs. I want 100 viewport heights. So I want this container to fill up the screen. And I'm also going to do a display flex. That should get my two elements side by side. Now, for my left box, that's a class selector, so I'll go ahead and do dot left. And I'm going to go ahead and set its width to be 50%, but I could do 50 VWs here. So 50 VWs, give it a background color that I can see, pound sign ABC. And then I'm also going to go ahead and do something similar for the right. The right's also going to have a width of 50 VWs. And for the background color, I'll do um, 687. Control S to save, head back to my browser, and refresh. OK, and so we've got a pretty nice little split screen design. Just to add an extra little element to this, I'm going to go ahead and throw a, uh, a disk inside of my first, my left div here. Class equals disk. And we'll do a little bit of styling with that. Let's see, the disk is going to have a width of, we'll do, eh, let's go ahead and do 16 M's, a height of 16 M's, a border radius, if I can spell it, of 50%, and a background color of yellow. OK, now I'm going to be able to see this pretty easily on my screen. There it is. But I want this disk to be right here in the middle, covering up both of these particular panes, this split screen. So what I'm going to do is go to my left, which is the parent of my disk. I'll set that left to be position relative. Not that I'm going to move it, but I want that to be a position relative on the parent of an element that I'm going to do position absolute. I'll go ahead and put this top zero pixels, right zero pixels, just so that we can see that that disk has moved over. I'm going to move it more to the right. I'm going to move it to the right, negative 8 m's, which is the half of the 16 m width of the disk. And that gets it to overlap those two panes pretty good. And of course, I could do a negative 8 m's to the top if I wanted it to go off screen a bit. But I want it to go down. So I'm going to go ahead and move it down 50%. That kind of gets it where I want, but I need to move it up a little bit. So I'm going to use the translate property. In fact, I'm going to do trans, uh, no, I'm going to use transform and then translate Y to move it up. And I'll move it up negative 50%. Save that, browser refresh. Now that circle is nicely centered where I want it over the divider of the two split screens. So, a lot went on on this one. I put position relative on my left pane because that's the one that contained this disk. The disk is going to be position absolute. I positioned it 50% from the top and negative 8 m's to the right. The negative 8 m's comes from the width and the height of the, um, the disk dimensions. Now, moving it 50% from the top is basically relying on the top edge of the disk. So I had to move the disk upward 50% of its width. That's basically, this 50% would have been the exact same thing if I did negative 8 
M's. Same thing there. In fact, no change in the disk. So that would have worked. But I'm going to put it back at 50% anyway, because that gives us fewer things to change if we wanted to change the size of this particular disk. Transform, translate Y, shifts it back up, getting it where I want. Excellent. I'm going to do one more video, uh, pretty similar, but I'd like to do a split screen um, top and bottom.